News of a possible coup d'etat in Mali drew swift condemnation from international leaders and organizations. But a completely different reaction reigned in Bamako, where crowds flooded the streets to cheer, encourage and thank the soldiers for their actions. We are happy because we can see that President Keita wants to run away. He is going to leave power. We are happy to see that Mali is starting to breathe. The children are outside defending their rights, which they see being flouted, because the future belongs to the youth. He's never going to stay in power. Even if the men accept it, we women are never going to accept it. He's been cursed by the good Lord, which is why the military stood up, because what he's done is not normal. A building belonging to Mali's justice minister was set alight as military vehicles roamed freely among supporters, suggesting the mutineers had obtained control over the capital city. The unrest started in the garrison town of Kati, located some 15 kilometers outside of Bamako. Numerous soldiers reportedly took weapons from the armory and arrested senior military officers. Upon their arrival to the capital, government workers fled their offices, as armed men reportedly rounded up and detained officials, including the finance minister, the prime minister, and President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. The mutiny marks a dramatic shift after more than two months of anti-government protests had led to a stalemate. Demonstrators have been demanding President Keita resign over a stagnating economy, government corruption, and an ongoing violent jihadist insurgency.